the digital identity is not just a passport that you will have on an, on your iPhone in a digital form. It entails just about everything the government would like to know about you. The best way to get to a modern person's heart is mm. to say that it's convenient for them. Mm. So yes, you won't have to carry all your different papers and your passports, but the downside of it is, and I hope that people will start to see this, that the government can shut you down. Yeah. So you, you know, if you want to buy a burger, yeah. red screen, no mark, not for you. That flight, <laughs> not for you. Oh, but you can just buy it if you have enough money, right? So they're being very open and honest to what their goal is here. Yeah. So we should take their words seriously and say, hell no. I would say we should cancel these communists immediately and say, get the hell out of my private life. I'm not tra having you track me and decide what I eat and where I go. <coughs> yeah, shalom, shalom. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Mokar, Kodash, Barakatham. To you brothers up there, the Bona, the Mighty Church, the Apostles, the Elders, and the Bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yaki of Roy that are sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ucha Kodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 to you all. <coughs> stay strong and stay mighty. EU approves Bill Gates digital ID, which excludes non compliant from participating in society. Globalist billionaire Bill Gates is demanding. Is demanding so <clears throat> he's the 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 he's speaking as a dragon right he's speaking as a dragon but you know which do drag the word dragon goes back to the word draco or draconian which means harsh or severe laws right Bill Gates is demanding which he's just the forerunner the, the real elite, the global elite, the, the ones above him. But the one that recently died, Rockefeller, John Rothschild, right? Them is the ones that are pushing the agenda. He's just the, the front man, right? So, globalist billionaire Bill Gates is demanding world governments follow the lead of the European Union and India and approve his global digital ID system which has in built features designed to exclude designed to exclude people from participating in society if they do not comply with the globalist agenda right now it came over here the 1230 news that the ones here who took the job they are suing the Barbados government for injuries, right? And this could says, Curse be the man, Jeremiah 17, verse 4, Curse be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his armor, whose heart departeth from the Lord. So, the ones that did not take the job, they could not do X, Y, Z. You understand? And the ones that took the job, they were allowed, you know, to do X, Y, Z. But now you see here, Bill Gates is demanding world governments, and we already here have a digital ID. Is that right? We already have a digital ID, so we are at the forefront. Is that right? Our Prime Minister is making sure of that. He says, World governments follow the lead, Revelation 17, right? They, they, uh, um, um, they committed fornication with the beast, right? Follow the lead of the European Union and India and approve his global digital ID system, which has inbuilt features designed. To exclude people from participating in society if they do not comply with the globalist agenda. The European Union Parliament officially approved the European Digital Identify Wallet, I'm sorry, Identity Wallet on Friday. We already here have something called VPA. You understand? Where you pay for things with your wallet, with your electronic wallet. Alright? 
laying the foundation for a Chinese social credit study system which punishes those who choose not to comply with the global digital ID system by locking them out of society. So if you don't obey the rules of the government, which the word government means my control, if you don't obey them, there was a video I had in here, I take it, deleted it, but in China, you know, they got all these, um, these cameras, I forget what you call camera, cameras, call them, uh, not infrared, um, I forget what it's called these cameras, man, but these cameras, when you want a square to show up in the camera, on the receiving end, and it picks up how you walk, etc., and it draws out all your information, right, and if you jail walk, etc., etc., um, you know, a ticket will come to your door, I ain't gonna come back. The 15 minute cities, they will have to have those before they can lock you down. So in Great Britain, some county already passed legislation. They will be able to impose a climate lockdown. That's the next step. So in order to do that, they will have to have these 15 minute cities. The next step then, of course, will be you are only allowed to leave your immediate area for, let's say, two or three times a year. So, but there's other people that may have more money and they can, they can actually buy your uh, passings off of you. So guess what? The poor people will be left in these 15 minute neighborhoods while the ones that are better off um, get to go wherever they want to go. Look at Saudi Arabia, for instance. They're pulling up Naum City. Um, they call it the line. So this is like a structure in the middle of the desert, 200 kilometers long, 200 meters wide, 500 meters high, and it will house up to 9 million people. If I wanted to get total control of the people, that's exactly where and how I would house them. And then having them on a three, me uh, three meals a day prescription, well, guess what will happen if you do not do as you are told? They will probably cancel that. It's so easy. It will be a complete impoverishment and enslavement of all the people. Rights groups have also been expressing concern over the possibility of discrimination and the erosion of privacy. But listen, I just told you in a very nice way. Now, let me just put it blatantly to you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. Think about that, but have a listen to this. Um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode for the next two months, I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID, where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris, or their fingerprints, and we can transact without the necessity of people struggling to identify who they are. And um, the most, the proudest part of it is that we don't have to spend the billions that we have spent on all the other uh, manenos, as uh, all of you know. We're taking things that are, you know, genetically modified organisms and we're injecting them in little kids arms we just shoot them right into the bank Kenya is in serious trouble now for you to accept this that means you're going to be completely surveilled and controlled think about it so they have targeted the new babies of course even the ordinary citizens the grown-ups the young ones the teenagers and even the elderly ones will receive this digital ID but they will then create a new generation where they'll be completely under this digital ID and they have no choice.
So we're heading for a dystopian society, right? So again, EU approves bill against digital ID, which excludes non-compliant from participating in society, right? Global Speed and Air Bill Gates is demanding world governments follow the lead of the European Union and India and approve his global digital ID system, which has inbuilt features designed to exclude people from participating in society if they do not comply with the globalist agenda. Okay? Preparation for the new system, which became the first EU state to begin rolling out digital ID cards to citizens last week. Well, like I said, we already have digital ID cards here. No, not all citizens have it. Um, so the government put a start to it for now. Sorry, right? but the new ID cards we have, um, we have new ID cards. Already, right? But I just want to cut this word here. Um, dystopian relating to or denoting an imagined state or society where there is great suffering or injustice, right? Dictorial, this is what we're looking for, that. dictorial, right? Totalitarian, and that's where we're heading, right? We're heading to dictorial, totalitarian society. The digital identity is not just a passport that you will have on an, on your iPhone in a digital form. It entails just about everything the government would like to know about you. The best way to get to a modern person's heart is mm. to say that it's convenient for them. Mm. So yes, you won't have to carry all your different papers and your passports, but the downside of it is, and I hope that people will start to see this, that the government can shut you down. Yeah. So you, you know, if you want to buy a burger, yeah. red screen, no mark, not for you. That flight, <laughs> not for you. Oh, but you can just buy it if you have enough money, right? So they're being very open and honest to what their goal is here. Yeah. So we should take their words seriously and say, hell no. I would say we should cancel these communists immediately and say, get the hell out of my private life. I'm not tra having you track me and decide what I eat and where I go. Right? Totalitarian society. That's where we had it. That's right? The global elite have always denied their plan for digital ID. Describing anybody who dare to expose their plan as conspiracy theorists who need to be muzzled on social media and in some cases thrown in prison. But now their masks are off and the globalists are making their move to be known as e IDs, the digital identity technology will grant the political elite in Europe with the power to freeze people's bank accounts, stop them from buying flights, groceries, basic necessities and in participating in society in any meaningful way. The digital ID identity is not just a passport you will have on your iPhone in a digital passport form. It entails just about everything the government would like to know about you, said Eva huh? Vladimir Vladimir Bach Vladimir Burek. The downside of it is, I mean, what, right, that's what she just said. So, the 
globally are determined to take authoritarianism to a whole new level, far surpassing anything attempted in Mayor's China or Stalin's Russia. Obviously, the WEF came up with a series of articles in September pushing for DPI enforcement. The WEF promises that the new cashless societies and digital IDs will be welcomed by the public due to their zero knowledge tech. So, yeah, man, that's where we're headed, right? Let me just show you something here. Um, this is really barbarous digital ID look like. This is it here, right? This is really barbarous. Uh, Digital ID looks like. You see? And you got the chip in the front. See? So you're getting rid of this one here. Right? You're changing that into, into this here. See? So this has all your info, info, so right? all of your info. So let me just get one preset now. All right? The quality trading ID card. All right? Revelation 13 verse 15 and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed so the article you just saw me read right now it says no complaint if you don't comply Right, you'll be excluded from society. But ultimately, this is what's gonna happen. So, right? You don't worship, you don't bow to this system and their image, their images, their, their, their whole plan, their whole agenda. You know what I mean? You don't bow to it, then you're gonna be killed, thrown in prison, excluded from society. See? And he causeth all, verse 16, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, he can't participate in Esau's society. See if he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, he must have all of his um you must have all of his credentials right to, to, to participate in his society and that includes the MOTB which they want to put inside of you to show that you belong to them they, you have their tag see that's all it is So yeah, we coming into the end times, you know, the Lord said he's going to keep us from the hour of temptation, Revelation 3 and 10. Right? Revelation chapter, that way is important, boy, that, that we endure and keep on fighting because this world is not forever. 
right? This killing is going to fall. That's right? But he saw things, so he's going to continue forever. And that way he wants to brand all of his citizens. That's right? Revelation 3 verse 10 Because thou hast kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation Which shall come upon all the world To try them that dwell upon the earth Right? So it's going to be a huge testing point For me, you know what I mean? That's right And for you out there too So it's imperative that we keep doing the works of the heavenly Father and only begotten Son. For this day will come. So right, this day will come. Right? This day will come, big man. So right? have to have the mark of the beast you have to have the mark of the beast shalom <laughs>